If you're getting older and you've decided to get back in shape, get back in the game, and be the best version of yourself you possibly can be, then there's five things that you absolutely must do. These are non-negotiable if you're going to succeed at that endeavor. Watch this video to find out what those five things are. Now, getting back in shape after you've let yourself go up for whatever reason, if medical reasons, whatever caused you to get in a condition that you're not happy with, it's a challenge at whatever age you're at. But it's more of a challenge as you get older. I watched lots and lots of people come to my gym and start embark on a fitness journey that they never finished. They just didn't get it done. They didn't get the results. They failed. The reason they failed is they were missing most of, if not all, of these five things. So with that, let's just dive right in with tip number one. The first thing you have to do is you have to change your mind. So what I mean by that is if you're 30, 40, 50, 60 year old or even older, you spent all of those years working on your mind. Your mind has developed from all the experiences, the, everything that happens to you every day in your life. Every day you look at yourself in the mirror and you see that same person and you don't really recognize the changes until you get to the point where you look at it and go, wow, I really got out of shape. I got to do something about this. So it starts in your mind. If you continue to look at yourself the same way you've always looked at yourself, you're going to continue to have that belief and not and have a very difficult time changing your body. Fitness and health really start up here and if you've made the decision to get in shape then you've already started up here by making that decision but it's very difficult to succeed if you continue to look at yourself the same way you've always looked at yourself so how do you go about changing your mind well your mind is a lot like your muscles it it can be developed it, and and you know that because over the years you've learned lots of things you've you've you got an education uh your experiences mount up and pretty soon you know a, a lot of stuff so your mind is malleable you can you can change what's in there one of the ways you could do that is by changing your routine first thing in the morning when you get up most people have a routine of looking at their phone looking at their emails looking at facebook all those things well if you just made one simple change there if instead of doing that if you found some kind of motivational inspirational thing to listen to while you're getting up and going through your morning routine taking a shower whatever you do in the morning rather than immediately beating yourself up with all of the bs that comes in through social media and emails that's going to give your mind a jump start on having a different outlook on life and of course you can also listen to educational stuff like hopefully this video and that'll help you Bring into action a little bit faster in the morning. Get more. Keep your keep you focused on your your goal of getting back in shape. Another part of changing your mind is is in some ways changing your surroundings. You've got a group of friends. You've got a group of people that you hang around with. And if you're out of shape, overweight, uh, you probably have some friends that are the same way, and they're likely to even be lazy. And worse yet, they're they're probably negative. So you got to kind of take stock of all that and if there's a bunch of that kind of people in your life there, there's an old saying that you're the you're the average of the five people you hang around the most take a look at the five people you're hanging around you might need to make some changes there in order to succeed at this endeavor so intensity is number two on the list and this is one of the most difficult things i tried to teach people so let's define intensity intensity is the willingness the ability and the willingness to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. Most of the people that came into the gym would, they'd accept the routine, I'd give them lifts to do, you know, sets, reps, everything. But when it came down to actually doing the exercises, they only worked within their comfort zone. They didn't ever push themselves beyond. I never ever saw somebody work out so hard that they got up and puked. They didn't have a lot of intensity. <laughs> But we're not really going for that, but, but you do have to understand. Let me give you an, a, a story. So I race in Spartan races all over the world, and I raced in one in Kalispell, Montana that was called an Ultra. It turned out to be about 34 miles of brutal up and down through the mountains of Montana and a, a whole bunch of obstacles to overcome. About halfway through that race, you get to stop 
and you have a where you've placed before you've placed a bucket full of food or whatever supplements whatever you think you're going to need to get you through the rest of that race so you get a little little break a little stop point where you can refuel by the time i had made it to that stop point at 64 years old i was i was pretty done i was feeling like man i think i've given it all i had but intensity was the ability for me for a lot of reasons to be able to get back out there get back on the trail and complete the race and i ended up taking second in that race and the reason i took second is because everyone else in my age group failed to complete the race only two of us finished and i happen to be second but hey it's a podium so once more i just have to say intensity you've got to be able to push yourself beyond your current comfort zone your body won't adapt if all you do is the same thing you've been able to do you've got to push yourself past that you're gonna, you're gonna maybe experience a little bit of discomfort. So the next thing is discipline. Whatever you do every day throughout the day is probably pretty much a routine, if you're, especially if you're getting older. You, you, you've just kind of settled into this daily thing that you do. And that is your current discipline. It, it, you have a certain amount of discipline that makes you get up in the morning, certain amount of discipline that makes you eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever your routine is, that's, that's what you do you're going to have to change your discipline. You're going to have to put some focus on fitness and that is your workouts, mainly your workouts, the change in your mind that we just talked about and the other aspects of fitness. You're going to have to incorporate those in a, in a manner that's disciplined, that, that's something that you put in every day. And it takes a while before it becomes part of your daily routine. You, you have to have enough discipline to at least ride it out, to at least push through until it does become part of your daily routine. And then you have to have the discipline to keep going even when it's difficult, even on the days you don't really want to do it. You need to have the discipline to say, okay, I'm committed to this. I really want to achieve my goals. So number four on the hit parade is your diet. Pretty safe bet that if you're out of shape, overweight, got the spare tire going on, your diet's probably not helping you. Your current diet's probably not working for you. I'd rather not use the word diet even. It's more about just how you eat. You know, in the world that we live in today, there's no shortage of food. Nobody really ends up going hungry that, that often. And there's an overabundance of processed food that really has no nutritional value. That happens to be kind of the standard American diet. Everybody eats kind of that same thing, McDonald's, eat sandwiches and stuff. So there's a lot we can say about the specific diet that you should use, but I'm going to keep it really brief in this particular video and just say that the processed food's got to go. And that'll, by doing that, you'll eliminate some of the key bad actors in your life, which are sugar, uh, wheat products, breads, pastas, those kinds of things. Those all have an impact on your insulin levels in and cause you to be on this insulin roller coaster, especially if you're eating three meals a day and snacks in between, your body's constantly injecting insulin to try and maintain your glucose level. And when there's insulin in your, in your body, it's preventing you from burning fat. Insulin's the most anabolic hormone we have and it's gonna have the biggest effect. So if you can get your insulin levels down by eliminating those, those processed foods and sugars, and the wheat products that just digest too fast and go in your blood system too fast, you're gonna have a tremendous impact on how fast you get rid of the weight. And last, but certainly not least, is your reason. The reason why you do this, your purpose for getting in shape. We all do pretty much everything we do in life for one of two reasons, either to avoid pain, avoid pain or to gain pleasure. But avoiding pain, avo <laughs> Avoiding pain and seeking pleasure usually is only enough of a motivational factor to keep you in your comfort zone. It's, it's enough to keep you from getting eaten by a lion and it's enough to keep you mildly entertained and happy with whatever you've got going on. But it's not enough to really keep you from, to, or to inspire you or to help you achieve something that's really can be a very difficult goal, like getting yourself from totally out of shape, overweight, to super fit and active and healthy. So you have to have a purpose, you have to have a reason. 
you gotta have something that's bigger than than just pain or pleasure unless it's a extreme pain or an extreme pleasure you got to have something that 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 motivates you that inspires you that drives you to do this every single day and that can be anything from ha wanting to have a, a better relationship with your spouse wanting to be able to see your kids graduate from high school wanting wanting to be able to see your grandkids gra graduate from high school all of the things that life has to offer there's got to be something out there that really compels you to do this task so just to recap the first thing you have to do is change your mind get your head on straight believe in yourself believe you're no longer going to be that person that you are today that you're not happy with the second one is intensity you've got to be able to push yourself out of your comfort zone find something that pushes you out of your comfort zone that does it for you like a spartan race I, I can't emphasize enough how great those are for pushing you and there's some short ones so even if you're old and out of shape you can still at least compete in them you might not be on the podium at the end but it'll certainly change your, your way of looking at things the third one is discipline you've got to be disciplined enough to do this day after day after day and make it part of your daily routine the fourth one change your diet almost certainly if you're out of shape if you're overweight your diet needs some work and the fifth one is to have a purpose have something bigger than you so you'll so you'll be driven to get this done I want to just say too now in closing this that it's you're probably not a genetic freak and you see a lot of people you see a lot of people on the internet here giving exercise advice with who have six-pack abs and they're ripped and and you think man I'd like to look like that well for the most part it, it's not even healthy to stay at the two percent three percent body fat level so if you if you can eliminate that from your mind and think more in terms of functional fitness it's in other words you want to be able to especially as you age you want to be able to enjoy everything that life has to offer and be able to function fully and get through every activity that's that comes your way functional fitness is more important than looking good in a bikini or looking good in with uh, a speedo I guess if that's your if that's your thing so just try and remember those five tips and put in the effort if you have embarked on this journey it's a worthy journey you'll you'll be happier with yourself once you're on this journey and also understand it's a journey that doesn't have an end it doesn't end it ends when they put you in the box so getting fit is about getting out of the condition you're in but then it's about maintaining yourself keeping yourself in the best shape you can so you can be the best person possible thanks for watching